ibo bi ibo aina ke no ozo no bo sin ke ta si ko no ko e chiri azelu once again good morning good afternoon good night it depends your time and your location you are joining us today at eastern news 24 i speak make a chuko kabama go ze na ya ni mi yeni na bia fra ya na ni di ise 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 all right um i have opened your son you need five jinaka di kan ne i will tell you no ku ozi do okempa Nukozi do kempa from the UN. Yes, I'm not going to name for your name. 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 All right. I'm going to name for your name. I'm not going to name for your name. I'm not going to name for your name. I'm not going to name for your name. PM, PM in exile. Mazim Simon Epa Njoko. In the European Union invited him for consultation. I go now what? So, in my email last week, oh, the letter the galafa. What I go? But the good news about it that now European Union because our able Biafran Prime Minister in exile, Mazim Simon Epa invite. Maki family mje kuwa kuwa kitabu. Maki umu na yana mba maji saimu wane ba mba. Oburu na saimu wane ba. Atoho. Oji mna mba. Ndi biafra. Oka ne da kukwa. Ndi gara ma European Union. Ma EU. Oka ne push for maji na ni kanu de liz. Biko. Ndi biafra. Nsi jono mu. Osana mi fa njulu no. Oburu na uluwa. Obuna ngu uduwa bu maa saimu wane ba bu awa biafran piye. Ade da kuko na bambo. Chule diz maa zim nande kano. Ne push more stronger. Ke ye kare bu defeat. Of the struggle now. I need an answer please. Because. Ama hamu di lizin. Up to now. Aye ye kwesige ma ife. Ucha ye kwesige dini ya ine me. Aye ye kwesige mandi bindi ila ye. Mani sama wane ba. Obo nyi ilo gika nina ajuge. Wene da kone de garande European Union. For Biafran referendum. Wene da kone de garande EU. United Nations. For Biafran referendum. Obo no bo nyi ilo gi. Obo no bo nyi ilo. Mazi nan ni kano. Obo no bo nyi ilo. Biafran agitators. Obo yi obo ni yo ne ma da ada eta. Ndi yu ena ge me invite. Biko no. Sagode no ma ajo an na ajo. Because obi adolo mo mo. And you want a whim. Oh, then you go. You want a whim. Okay, we have received acknowledgement from the General Secretary of the Council of the European Union. They are further invited us for more consultation and also give us more direction for the next step. Remember, remember the, okay, remember, petitioned UN. Okay, Biafra PM petition the UN over Biafra exist and the only solution for the, uh, as in to last peace in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Fighting for Biafra freedom is a is a public fighter. It's, okay, fighting for Biafra freedom is a public fight. A certain information will always be made public. Why confidential information about freedom remain secret? We will be updating the Biafrans about this. Here yeah, but just a short clip of um if I'm the Odogo na exile but my someone yes na Twitter handle there. Imagine in the European you know invite yeah Kobia Wuk Kobia Kowa Hi Money engineer we are Onya na onya de against ma zina ndika no we ne push for Biafra is in Nigeria because the man ni major Simon ba J O ya biko the man ni kute ni kuto ho J O ya biko owo di open ni melo as in ni ne meto ho maka Simon ba owo di open ni video open ni kudu i open ni kudu i ne kuto ho go and beg him and ask him for forgiveness oh ya ba abuja because. You are one now, they do not know. On the Ube, one ne, Yabanoso, one ne, Gaibo, our common enemy, 
but Nigeria, not ourselves. Time a legal guy you are saying about why and why. All you go. Out from the Abu News, I am very happy. I am very happy. Obi Jupiter Sangole, Obi Jupiter Sapolina Polina, Obi Jupiter Sangole, or for more for more, or get no Yabozi. Mansu Wadlo, a credit to go cardiam, and also Massin and the can will be ladies. It must be ladies. You go over, for I got up Lydia, what do you for Melo? But then you so. Ne by that one, then can go soon. Obele audio clip, Malay kunuge. Basata maka um yabo um our ebo be afran pia mal samon eba. Obo audio clip yam Malay kunuge. So again yabo ozi ozi deba. That one then kunzo se la. All right, over to you, my ebo be afran pia in exile. Over to you, sir. That I have misrepresented and have killed their future and destroyed their means of livelihood. With their bad decision and becoming and being stooge to the full and you know what they do is that they they go with security if you come out to the street to protest they kill you and all that so we know how to deal with them i want all of you to read with me the introduction of sharia law will curtail bad behavior as most of the crashes are due to negative attitude by motorists and other road users. People don't want to take a rest. They overspeed because they want to make money. If the law is introduced, by the time you are involved in a crash, it would be investigated, the guilty and his family would also be responsible for anything that happened to the vehicle. <laughs> are you hearing? He said, the guilty and the family. I want you people to understand what is going on. He said, the guilty and his family. What is the business of the family of the guilty person, of somebody that is guilty? That is to show you that the people you are living with, your one Nigeria, are not human beings. They are not human beings. They are telling you the Sharia law now is if something happened. You, you and your family will be held responsible. How will your family be held responsible when your family have absolutely nothing to do with your job of driving? I want you people to see how bad the things is going to become. Because what you are reading, what you are hearing from me now is how Islamic State is going to build. <laughs> if you do not support Biafra exit, you will end up in an Islamic State where what you are hearing from me now that sound very awkward is it will become your law i am telling you if you are a victim if you are found guilty for example if you are if you are if you are a, if you are guilty of the traffic uh, offense you and your family who was at home sleeping or who was in the farm while you were driving your car will be held responsible have you seen anything like that? But it is going to be what is awaiting you if you do not support Biafra now. Tell the senators, all these ones, they carry paper and start reading. They are reading to Islamic State. Tinubu is a Muslim Islamic State supporter. Uh, Shetima is already the founder of Boko Haram and you see him, romancing bandit and all that. These are terrorists. And what is going to happen is that every law that is going to favor Islamic State is what Tinubu is going to support. He has started it earlier. He has not even been a president yet. <laughs> and they are already appealing to him. He's already telling the Indibu, you are not part of Nigeria. And they are agitating to be part of Nigeria. So, for that particular reason, and many other reasons, the vote of... I'm just trying to tell you, validate the vote of no confidence we are talking about. Why we must pass vote of no confidence on them. And then after that, we will decide whether we are going to bar them from coming to Biafra land or we are going to give them, uh, you know, give them some kind of white card to enter Biafra land because we are capable of banning them from entering Biafra land. As it stands now, we have the capacity to ban them from entering Biafra land. And they know it. So I want everybody to listen and listen and pay attention attentively. What is happening in Afghanistan is going to come if you do not support Biafra exit now. 
This proposal you see here is don't take it as a joke. I want you to understand they have advocated for Sharia in the south in the southern part of Nigeria. You see that the CGN, the former CGN, the Fulani Tanko Mohammed, advocated as a CGN. That was unbelievable. He advocated for Sharia in the entire southern Nigeria. And by that time, nobody raised eyebrows. It was still the people on social media that started shouting. Oh, the, nobody from the Senate, from the South East Caucus, whatever they call themselves, summoned courage to say, you can't do this. You can't say this. You can't say that. No. I was even watching one video today where uh, Wiki of River State Wiki of River State it was saying, oh P2B is the hero of this election P2B is the hero of this election. This was a man who <laughs> who made sure that uh, he rigged his state against P2B <laughs> He rigged it for Tinubu. So now, he did not get what he wanted to get. Tinubu has dealt with him too. Now he is saying P2B is the, uh, is the hero of the election. I don't know whether some of, I don't know how many of you that have come across such a video. I come across the video today. I did not save the video. Okay? You know, he said that P2B is the one that, uh, that is the hero of the election. These are the people that is going to receive the vote of no confidence from Biafrans on the 29th of May. A lot is going to happen on the 29th of May. A lot. A lot is going to happen. So, I want you to understand that we are not moving back an inch. We stand strong, Gidibam, irrespective of whatever happens. Irrespective of whatever setback, we stand very giddy bam, very strong. And I want to commend our men, those who think that they can kill Biafrans and go free. Think again. Those who derive joy in sabotaging this movement, think again. You can't destroy it. You can't sabotage and go free. I am telling you the fact. Those who think that when they kill a Biafran, they are pride. They drive pride in it. It is not today you started killing Biafrans. And there is no amount of killing that is going to stop us. Like Oyendu, Mazinam, the kind of used to say, you will kill us. We will kill you. At the end of the day, Biafra will come. So there is no amount of death or killing that is going to stop this particular movement for our freedom it is the price the question is how are we paying that price are you as a Biafran part of the sabotage are you as a Biafran part of those who derive joy in sabotaging the freedom of Biafra have you made yourself a tool for to be used by the enemies of Biafra people it will not last you will only enjoy it for a while. So think about it. Think about it. If you find yourself as becoming a tool for the enemy to use to start killing our people, believe me, you will not last long. Your days is also numbered. And that is why everybody must begin to change themselves. Some people are expecting Simon Ekpa to come on social media and start shouting oh this that no 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 we don't do that we work whatever we want to work out and you see the manifestation those who were shouting about Simon Ekpa did this Simon Ekpa did not do that today they are seeing the result you don't win every time Sometime you use your brain. We don't win every time. Yeah. But I'm telling you for the past one and a half year, we have been winning. We have been winning. I remember when uh, Oyendo was still free. The same sabotage 
happened. They were killing our men here and there. Everybody can remember that. Every time they kill, every time they kill, they say IPOB have been killed and blah, blah, blah. For the last one and a half year, we have been able to hold the ground. And the killing stopped. For the last six months, we have been winning. Every time we win. All right, thank you once again. And if what we are doing, you didn't like it, leave us with your own comment on the comment section below. On our going from Azim, Simon and also our Biaflam PM in exile. As in, I'm really happy for the powerful move, Omelo. I've been with them, Sangole. I've been very happy for this powerful move, Omelo, to the European Union. And also, I believe strongly that in due time, Biafra will exist from Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless Mazin Namikano. God bless Mazin Simon Epa. God bless all the freedom fighters. Son Boho, God bless you now. All right, thank you. This is Eastern News 24, a home of latest news on what is happening in Biafra land.